A survey administered by the FDNY to firefighters found that black and female members experience harassment and uncivil treatment at three times the rate of others in the department. CBS 2's Dave Brennan here now live with the results. Dick. Well, Maurice and Christine, the survey was first administered in 2019. It asked, among other things, about FDNY workplace culture, equality, civility, discrimination, and harassment. More than 4,000 members responded. The survey wanted to learn more about the work experiences of firefighters. It found that black and female firefighters faced incivility and harassment at three times the rate of other firefighters. The survey found people who are victims seldom report their experiences and that the majority of those who said they do indicate they faced repercussions for doing so. Other findings showed inaccurate information about testing and performance standards contributed to the negative experiences of black and female firefighters. They want testing standards more transparent. But for me, it's just unfortunate that it took this survey uh, to move when we've been having these cry outcries from our members for years. Regina Wilson is the president of the Vulcan Society, the fraternal organization of black firefighters. It's time for us to end this, these racist policies, these racist practices in this department, and for the public to, to truly understand that bringing more black people and women on this job does not mean that we are lowering standards. In a statement, Fire Commissioner Laura Cavanaugh said the survey has given us the tools to work across all ranks to create solutions that make our members safer, happier, and healthier. And Chief of Department John Hodges wrote, the issues raised in this this survey are difficult, but we are prepared to meet this challenge as we always do. The FDNY says it's developing an action plan to change the culture. They have to teach leaders how to be leaders and how to deal with diverse uh, uh, mindsets, colors, genders, and be able to really have a true welcoming atmosphere. Now, the department says that after the action plan is formulated, they will share it with members and then they will welcome their input. The FDNY says the plan will involve leadership training, education, and they say transparency. Christine. All right, Dick, thank you.